you commit a slashing on Court Street, you go to jail. So while you're in jail, you commit a slashing on an inmate, you don't go to jail. I mean, this is not making any sense. Assaulting us, those that are wreaking havoc in our jails, a four hour timeout. We do not have solitary confinement in our jails. No one is being locked up for 23 hours straight. As it is, the watered down consequences allow about eight hours of out of cell time. So I want everybody, every New Yorker to imagine being on the subway, somebody getting cut on the subway or raping somebody on the subway. And my brothers and sisters back here locking them up and putting them in jail for four hours and then releasing them back to the public. That's what they want to do to every correction officer on Rikers Island. This is a tragedy. This is shameful. A year ago, we stood on the steps of City Hall with our members testifying over 50 sexual assaults on female correction officers. And they're, now they want no viable consequences for those violent acts. We showed videos of unprovoked attacks of our members. And this is what our own city council, some of them, want to do to us. Over 38. Well, guess what? We will hold every city council member and the public advocate responsible for every assault on staff. This is not going to keep anybody safe behind our, our jail, in our jails. This is going to raise and in, um, embolden the inmates to commit more violent acts. We need our, our city council members to vote no on intro 549 because it's gonna get more people hurt. Thank you. So y'all heard him say that they get like eight hours of out of cell time. So they're only locked in for 16 hours. Big difference from 23 and one. I'm just saying. Imagine someone committing a serious crime and the police locking them up for, for four hours and then letting them out. They used to doing time in jail, like, so four hours is nothing. That shit sleep time. That's nap time, nigga. <laughs> That's nap time. Thank you. I needed that alone time. So just imagine going to work and being sexually assaulted and them putting your assailant away for four hours and, and sending him back to the house and everything. Nigga, I'm still at work, nigga. Like, I got a whole eight hours, sometimes 16 hours to do at one spot so you want to send this nigga that just groped me grabbed my tent or whatever type of sexual assault happened and then you gonna send him back in four hours i only been here for four hours i still got four more to go so now i have i still have to be around this individual so he could come fill me up again because I, I maybe i'm just that attractive to him, and he like, fuck, uh, listen, man, I'm going back and take another nap for four hours and come back. And he said that they showed videos of unprovoked attacks. So, you know what unprovoked means? That means, like, for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah, for no reason at all. You didn't do anything to me, but for, like, hitting somebody, so it's you. Cause ain't shit gonna happen to me anyway and you an officer and the officer locked me up so i want to hit a fucking officer and you the one because you here and to sit and to say because i know there's some people gonna say oh you signed up for that you signed up for the job you know what came with it absolutely not no that's just not how it goes for no job for no job at all because if you you could just pick any occupation and 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 it doesn't, that doesn't make sense in no occupation. Like, say you a doctor, a nurse, or whatever, and you got stuck with a needle, right? And now you got HIV. So how about they say, well, I mean, you signed up for that shit. You a doctor, right? You know that's, why like, you gonna fuck with needles. So you got stuck with one, you, you a nurse. It is what it is. That come with the job. No. 
Sanitation. Say you work sanitation, right? You picking up garbage. You get bit by a rat. Now you got rabies. How about somebody say, yo, you sanitation, right? You fucking with garbage. The rats is going to get you when you messing with the garbage. You messing with garbage. There's rats in the garbage. You're in New York. You're bound to get bit. You still signed up for the job. You got what you got. Pick any occupation. Construction. You fell off the lift. You fell off the plank. Somebody might say, you know the chances that you're taking being a construction worker? How about you a bus driver? Somebody want to get on the bus for free. They say, fuck you. I'm not paying. They spitting on you. Does that come with the job? You decide to drive a bus and work with the public. That's what happens. That's part of the job. Come on, man. No, no, no. And as he said that they're going to hold every councilman responsible for... um the officers that get assaulted or hurt on the job, as they should. They should hold them responsible because it's because of them that this is going on at the rates that is happening. Because when there is no consequence, of course, people are going to continue to do whatever they feel like doing. Anybody is going to do that, even children, even innocent children, if they do something bad. And then they don't get a little smack on the wrist or a little scream at, you know, they're not going to see it as being bad. Or they might know it's bad and be like, oh, well, fuck it. Like, I ain't going to be in trouble or nothing. 